Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, man, I've been working like a dog down here in my little farmcraft room, and uh, yeah, let me see. Um, which would be the best? Um, something like that. Yeah, there. So, without further ado, Hubba. Would you look at that? Uh, let me see. This, this wasn't that. Is there a way for me to, uh... Ah, there we go. All the items ready and ready to go for the big wand and crystals in the roof. Crystals on the floor in order to negate the, uh... <laughs> the dangerousness of the, uh... <laughs> of this build right here. Uh, the crystal actually helped the, uh... Um... A fuse, uh, fuse machine there, or infusion uh, matrix there, to be more stable. And over here we have a, <laughs> a automated, very um, self-sustaining uh, crystallized uh, essence crystallizer here. As you can see, I got tons and tons of crystallized essences, and uh, you need. Um, you need earth or, yeah, uh, you need earth in, uh, to make these go faster. So I took the gigantic earth node I had over there and made it into a, um, uh, into a, yeah, an energized node. But I gained those three others. You see, I have eight of them, one and one and one, based on extra, uh, extra, yeah. So, without further ado, let's, um... Let's start this baby up and let's hope that it uh, works first time because I haven't gotten any extras that I can uh, maybe place so up. Let me just go in here. I'm gonna go into wish mode just so I can just so I can fly around uh, a little bit quicker. Okay. We're gonna need a lot of uh, essences. I, of course, have made sure that I got more than enough uh, essences of every type. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Ah, uh, shit, where did it go? When it does that little spritch that, that you saw, nothing happens. It just uh, props off the whatever on the altar off. But when it, it, it gives an explosion, it actually destroys it. But I hope that uh, the, the amount of crystals that I have here, and the skulls, and the uh, uh, little, um, yeah, the lights there, uh, will help it stabilize. Okay, right here seems to be a good spot. I can see all of them. Okay. Right, the last bit. Now we just need the 64 magic. And we got more than enough magic. Oh, the cool thing about it, the crystal, they don't hurt. You can fly into them or walk on top of them, they don't hurt. Here we go. So far, so good. This is a dangerous one, guys. Oh yeah, why the sound just stopped there is because I have that uh, sound uh, muffler uh, with uh, out with the sheeps. Oh. It's doing it, it's taking the items. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's gonna continue to take that, unless I have uh, 
Ah, oh, bloody fudge. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, fuck. Oh, just lost all of them. Because the last one just fudged out. You know what? Screw you! Oh, I've got to wait. Uh, I'm... <laughs> Fuck! Damn it, it took me so fucking freaking long to make all of those cores. Oh, and it's, it's supposed to be the most powerful one in the game. I mean, that, and I needed to, to all of that, and... Oh, why didn't I make double of them? I had hoped that... Uh, and now it's just very high. It's not even dangerous as you want. It's only oh fuck. Screw it. Yeah, I was going to. Uh, I had the whole thing planned. Where uh, why the reason why I was making this huge um, staff uh, type deal. Oh. I even, yeah, I even, as you can see here, I even made two Thormium one caps charged. These two right here. I even made these two right here. And they were very high as well, and nothing happened with them. They just cruised along with all these crystals. <sighs> oh, well, that's, that's it. Um, putting away my Thormic things here for now. Up with you, up with you, up with you. Now I'm gonna keep this one. Come on, in you go. <sighs> hate it when it does that. Oh, finally it's working again, cool. Okay, and I'm gonna keep my, that one down there. Up with you, gonna keep, oh. Um, Gonna keep these here, just so that uh, if I do find something that I want to, um, uh, yeah, I might get something cool out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one up on the back burner here. There's my axe, right? I've been, I've been looking for this all all over the freaking place. God damn. Okay. Nope. I'll be right back and I will show you what I meant about uh, uh, what I had in store for um, that big uh, staff type deal there. So see you in a bit. And here we are, guys. Look at him. I have no idea what the bloody fuck he is. But he is cool as hell. I mean, if you even got a cup of gonads. <laughs> no. <laughs> Colossal eye. Colossal mask. Colossal block. Fractured colossal block. I have. Whoop! Oh, shit. <laughs> Wrong button. I have a feeling that I might be needing this. So let's see here what will happen if I open up for this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Drop something. But then he just bowed down and now there's something on top of his head here. You feel oddly drained. Flocked fruits three oh damn. 
Jeez. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? It's not. I can't uh, go inside it, but. Off here. I don't know. I have no idea what to do here, guys. Oh well. Now that uh, we, uh, we know where it is, I have a... Uh, uh, yeah, this one. Right on top of him here, so yeah. Cool. See you when we get back home. And that is this direction right here, I think. And we are back home. Just realized that the... Uh, the sound muffler we have the head out the down or out front here with the ring is gone. M U F Ring Muffler Rain, would you please Shut up Thank you. Okay, let's see here. What the bloody pick a daily motherfucker is these actually used for? Color scanner? Factorization? Passive? What? Pan passive? I have no idea what that the heck is. Blank? Logic matrix? Logic matrix identifier? Okay. Dark Iron Ingot And what can Dark Iron Ingot be used for? Dark Iron Block, Logic Matrix Programmer Dark Iron Sprocket Magical Lamp Oh, these are pretty cool These can light up a pretty big area and nothing within the, the light radius uh, no mobs can spawn within the light radius. These are pretty goddamn cool. Uh, in, in indestructible, indestruction plate. What the heck? Indestructible plate. Compression crafter. Servo rail. Okay, what is, what can we use the dust for? Dust can only be used to craft more ingots. Okay. Glad we figured out that. Okay, let's get the big book of uh, Litica and Botanica. I mean, he has gone all out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the 165th edition, your guide to all Botanica needs. From bestseller author Lisbon, uh, something like that, and it has this cool uh, animation type deal. Out of science, you're uh, oh, cool. And then uh, there's tons of things you can go here. Warp. It seems like the creator of this mod decided to add a weird game mechanic in the form of warp. I don't really know what it does. Uh, probably something bad. What's the fourth? What's the fourth wall you are talking about? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Uh, 
Uh -huh, cool. Okay, you just uh, right click and then you get back. Okay, cool. Uh, let's look at Botanica and then it says everything about. Uh, right clicking all the way back and uh, you use these to go back to previous page. Mystical flowers. Yeah. Let me see, don't I have a few? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I had a few somewhere. Uh, nope. Uh, B-O-T-A. Yeah, apparently not. Uh, F-L-O. Oh, here we go. Do have a few. Let's grab everything that has to do with botanica flowers. We are probably going to need them. Oh. And we are gonna put them inside the green bag here. I have designated that to be our botanica bag. Cool. F L O flowers. Cool. Petal apothecary, which we already have. Whoops. Let's stop raining. Cool, thanks. Come on. Ah. As you see here we got this petal apothecary out here. And we got a Pure daisy here and a pure daisy here. So we are actually quite already good to go here. I have done a little bit, apparently. You know what, let's just uh, put some torches right down there and let me show you what those pure daisies actually do. Okay, let us grab a stack of smooth stone and a stack of oak wood just surround the pure daisy with uh, the wood and the smooth stone oh that was a little bit too far away give me back that one okay cool and within a minute or so, it will convert the uh, stone and the wood into a Botanica-based uh, equivalent C thing. Oh, and by the way, uh, if uh, you want so to know something and don't want to like uh, go through through, of, uh, through all of these, you can see there's tons of uh, subcategories under these uh, things here. Even here, there's multiple subcategories oh my god you can just you can see uh, uh if you mouse over the the electric uh, with the electric mechanic in hand you just right the uh, shift right click it and it will yeah shift right click it and it will take you directly to that entry In order to, uh, uh, in order for a botanist to create, oh, there, there we go. Cool. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, the last page you were on when you go out the book is also the page you get into. Okay. In order for a botanist to create plant life that can do, uh, that can do its bidding. It's why doesn't he? Why doesn't it uh, say his or slash her bidding? One would need a special means of infusing petals with magical or mystical energy. Luckily, the petal apothecary just does, ju does just that. This is how it looks. 
it then gives you a small brief descent and then you need a bucket of water inside of it or any other means uh you can pop it through you can even have lava inside of it and yeah uh, if you put a bucket of lava inside of it it will actually be like a um oh what are those special uh, those special fountain with la uh, fire yeah that's pretty goddamn cool and this is how you make it you just uh, uh, break down a plant any type of uh, mystical plant and then just some cobblestone and some cobblestone slabs and bam you know what i have an idea i want to make those um uh, i want to make that uh, lava thing out here just for fun see so you can see what i mean uh, first of all, we need some cobblestone, and my system does not have cobblestone in it because I've told it to void, oh, to almost void every single piece that we get. Well, not void, but uh, put it in, put it into this one here, so we can get ourselves this. Um, yeah. First, we need these. No, we're actually gonna make two. Number two, then we're gonna need any type of flower, doesn't matter which one. And let's see, which one do we have the most of? We have the most of the white, but we're actually gonna need the white the most. So we're gonna take a blue one right here. I hate it when it does that. Uh, they, gotta, they gotta fix that freaking problem with these bags. When you have it open, you can't uh, just, uh, yeah. Then put it up in here and you get two flowers per... Uh, uh, yeah, two petals per flower. So let's uh, grab these two here, and you know what? It doesn't matter that uh, they can stay. Okay, then we are going to need. Maybe it's out of this one. I don't know. Oh, we can put. Uh, we can take this one. Come on, shoot. Yeah, as you can see, I've already uh, begun my uh, a little bit of a uh, starting here for a new things that we're gonna do BUC bucket oh we actually had two buckets of lava here let's just take that put that one back up in there okay where should we place where should we place these two here because I'm thinking I'm going to um, I'm going to take this down uh, I have no more you I have no more use for that type when I have this one over here I'm gonna make something different with this uh, the uh, yeah mob spawner and grinder type deal when I have this one over here that's it's much better that one over there but yeah I'm gonna take this one down and uh, I'm gonna designate this grass area out here to be the uh, botanica uh, gardens well the botanical gardens that's <laughs> pretty cool you know what let's place one of them right here on the uh, creek of this path right here I hope that it doesn't catch that on fire hope not and let's put the other one put that one right here look at that that is so cool and I do believe they gave off quite a bit of light in the uh, evening yeah uh, those uh, uh, those are just particle effects those that jump out there they cannot uh, uh, catch anything on fire that's uh, new it's just the lava inside here that maybe put, could catch this thing on fire but as you can see here these uh, seared windows with lava in it uh, yeah it's okay but they look cool oh man it looks so cool but yeah living rock and living wood i am hesitant to use my this one on the living wood if it takes the plant with it it doesn't sweet and i just do bam 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 so yeah uh let us uh, just it doesn't matter which way the wood points, uh, it, the flower makes it into its corresponding living thing. Okay, up with you and up with you, because you're going to be botanical based items. Yes. Okay, so 
which flower would potentially be the first that we make? Mystical flowers. Which flower would be the first that we make? Uh, we can even grind it up into paste to get... Ooh, there's a fertilizer. Sweet. And we even get a magenta blue petal block. That, yeah, you can actually make your own trees that actually look pretty goddamn cool. Pure Daisy is the, is the one we have made here. Living Twig. <clears throat> For those, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let's see here, what about the Living Twig here? Can be turned into, Living Wood can be turned into twigs. Okay, cool. Black Lotus. An exclusive, uh, an exclusive Flower by the name of Black Lotus is known to exist. Uh, however, it does not grow or uh, reproduce where they can be found or can from uh, is not no uh, what can be found or come from is unknown. Okay, sorry. It is, uh, it is known, however, that it contains a strong amount of concentrated matter uh, that can be released by putting it in contact with a mana pool that already has some in it. Just toss it in. Uh, just toss it uh, would do. Okay, cool. Terra Steel. Uh, Mana manipulation, mana pools. I think we're gonna start off with uh, building maybe a mana pool, yeah, or two, actually. The mana pool is simply put a storage of mana. Mana can be in uh, can be inserted into it by use of a mana spreader, and uh, and any adjacent mana spreader will pull mana from it to increase their uh, internal buffer automatically. Any functional flowers, functional flowers meaning flowers that can maybe help crops grow or, yeah, you will get to it, requires a nearby mana pool to draw power from it. Mana pools come in two variants, a weak uh, diluted, a weak, uh, a weaker diluted variant which uh, only so, uh, stores a very small amount of mana and isn't uh, able to infuse items and uh, and a normal which isn't a uh, uh, yeah can't just, uh, infuse items and a normal warranty which can store a much uh, as much as 100 times more than the diluted one and uh, can infuse items uh, apparently we can do the scroll wheel as well uh, whenever mana pool is referred somewhere for scale, it refers to a normal one. Ah, okay, cool. Here we got a diluted mana pool, and then you just drop a diluted mana pool in a diluted mana pool with mana, which gets a normal mana pool. Okay, seems to be not tossing in. Yeah, a few uh, examples are iron ingots or mystical petals. Mana uh, reading for this book, uh, <laughs> yeah. For the uh, attic type, toss any color of flower power, flower powder, in the pool will have it takes its color, and uh, all sixteen colors are available for decorations and or easy labeling. Oh, that's cool. So. It, uh, you don't have to have the normal color of water in the mana pools. You can actually have it any color you want. That's actually pretty goddamn cool. That is that is really cool, actually. Let me just put this one up here. Uh, get this one down here. Oh, shit. Oh. I thought we didn't get to uh, get it back once it was planted. We do. Oh, damn! I'm. Uh, oh, fuck. Cool. And now, I would like a few of these. Let's see here. Three, six, seven, eight. 
And then, yeah, we need 16 in all. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, let us make a mana pool, shall we? got eight here I'm thinking that I'm going to grab me one of these and make it into a crafting bench we're gonna need it apparently one mana pool and let's put this baby right down here um, yeah. Okay, let's uh, go back. Let's see. Is there a entry about just mana? Or in which case we can get mana blaster tool. <laughs> uh huh. A portal to Elfenheim. Ah, we uh, we are nowhere near that. Okay, mana pools. This is an index. Day bloom. The day bloom is the is the most basic and ru uh, rudimentary uh, generative flower. Simply put, it uh, simply uh, simply put, it pr performs a modified photosynthesis processing in order to transform some into. Ma okay, so it's actually a day bloom we need. Ah, shift click to move. Okay, cool. We can actually uh, add a little booklet and then shift it to remove. The process is rather slow, but 10 or a dozen of them should get the job done for now. Okay. Bad? Good. Ah. So we need two mystical yellow. A mystical light blue and a mystical orange in order to make a day bloom inside the petal of propertary. A propertary of blah. So let's uh, see if we have. I do believe we have more than enough. Oh. Light blue and orange. Light blue. Come on, there. And orange. Oh. And of course it's beginning to get night time. Okay, cool. So we can make two. Here. Yeah. Cool. So it's backing up. Sweet. So I apparently need to, uh, for tomorrow, go out and get some uh, more mana petals. One, two, one, two. And then what? And then I probably need to throw in something in order to uh, start uh, up a brand new day. Uh But I 
Orange, light blue and two yellow, right? Two yellow, yeah, we got that. Orange, light blue and two yellow. So what the hell am I doing wrong here? What the hell? What, do I need to f toss in a seat then, or what? I know there's uh, some... Uh, you know, normal Minecraft seats. That was it. Now we know how to make that. Okay, now we just need a bucket. And cool for me, I got two. <laughs> that one in there, that one in there, that one in there, that one in there, and I seed. Nice. Okay, and then uh, it doesn't like, so one there, one there, Okay, and and daytime it is night of course now. You know what? It's a good time to go in and sleep so we can activate my bed upstairs. Oh, wrong room. Ah, here we go. And look at this carpenter's workbench bed with the uh, duvet. <laughs> Cool. Now we are tied to that bed. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know uh, we have gone pretty far over our normal wrapping up time, but yeah, I just wanted you uh, just wanted to show you off the basic, and I will be uh, flying out gathering flowers like a son of a bitch, and yeah. Why it's lacking a little bit here is because uh, uh, the travel I did over to the colossal thingy over there. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, catch on the flip side.